Okay, so let's uh, take an idea, take some of the ideas we learned last week and see if we can build on them. So let's say I wanted to draw something like a fish. Okay, so how could I do that using the shapes that we have already? Well, let's look at, let's say this is our canvas. And then let's say uh, to do this, I wrote, a, I wrote something like create canvas. And I did 600 by 400, something like that, yeah? That might give me a shape like this, right? Now, if it did that, we would know then that the top left corner is what? What are the x, y coordinates of our top left corner? Maybe something like 0, 0, right? So that means our bottom right corner would be what? Think about it a little bit. All right, so our bottom right corner would be 600 by 400. Where did I get those numbers? Well, those numbers came from here and here because that says create a canvas that is 600 wide and create a canvas that is 400 tall. Remember, that's pixels, 600 pixels by 400 pixels. Now, we know that as we move to the right, x gets bigger. So if 0 is the, is the left, that means our biggest number is to the right. That's going to be 600. And then also, unlike your math class in your normal coordinate plane, we, we go down. As we go down, y gets bigger which means if zero is the top, then 400 is the bottom. Okay, so this is just quick review from last week. So let's so let's say we've got this going. I'm just gonna get that out of my way for a second. Oh, too much. Get, get some of this out of my way. We'll get rid of these coordinates here. All good, all right. Now let's say I wanted to draw a fish. So if I drew, I could draw a fish by drawing a circle with a triangle, right? And if that was all solid, that would be a fish, yeah? All right, so let's say I wanted to draw a fish. I could use the ellipse function or the circle function. I'm gonna be lazy and use the circle function. So if I wrote circle, and then the, for, the, for the circle function, we have x comma y comma radius. I'm sorry, diameter. That's our circle function. That's one of the ones in our P5 shape, uh, P5 reference for shapes, all right? so. If I drew, if I wrote a circle and I gave it say, oh, I don't know, 100 comma 200 comma 60, what's that gonna look like on my screen? All right, I want you to think about that and try and draw it on paper before you ever try to program it, all right? That's important. I want you to think first and draw first. So again, 100 to the right, so we're 600 wide, so we could think about splitting this up so that uh, halfway-ish should be here. That'd be 300, so that'd be like 100, 200. So 100 is gonna be here, so somewhere on this line, right? And then 200, that's gonna be pretty much smack dab in the middle, which is here-ish. So that means my circle is gonna get a center point right there. So when I draw my circle, and then, uh, let's see, something like, something like that-ish, all right? Not so bad. Now, how do I draw a triangle? Some of you used triangles when you did your Kandinsky um, to do triangle. It is x1, y1. So kind of like our, our line where we had the x, y, x, y for our two endpoints. It's x1, y1, x2, y2. So we just put the x, y coordinates of all three of our vertices on our triangle. There we go, our nerd word for the day, vertices of our triangle, right? So if I'm gonna draw a triangle that lines up with this circle that looks something like this, that's the kind of triangle I want, right? So what are my coordinates? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can actually see. So we know that this one is the same as our x, y coordinate of our circle, isn't it? So we, if we remember that, that was 100 comma 200. So now I just need to figure out what these two are. All right, so we know to get from here all the way to here, that's more than the diameter it looks like, right? So remember that the, we said our diameter of our circle was 60, right? So stop. So. If the diameter of our circle is 60, that means from 
that would mean from here to here is 60. So from the center out is 30. So it looks like we need to go a little bit more than 60 to get from the middle of the circle to our tail, right? Which means that in the x direction, if we were to extrapolate our line back up, remember here was 100, which means this tick is 200, right? So, looks like I erased my canvas somewhere along the way. That's okay. Um, so this is more than more than 150, right? So we could actually look here, or we could plan out in our head, but I'm just going to look here and say, eh, we'll call it 170 for my X. So this one has an X of 170, right? And what's my Y? So this over here was 200. 100 would be somewhere up here. So my Y, now how wide do you want the tail really? So should the tail be even with the top of the head? Should it be shorter than the top of the head? I'm going to make it just shorter than the top of the head. Or maybe I'll make it even with the top of the head. So we know from here to here, from, from here to here is 30, right? Because the diameter is 60, so that from the middle to the outside is 30. And if we knew we were at 200, if I go 30 up from 200, what was 30 up from 200? Remember, is it going up getting smaller or is it going down getting smaller? Now, if this was a math class, you would have one answer, but for me, you have a different answer. All right, so going up is getting smaller. So this one is actually going to be 200 minus 30, right? So this is going to be 1, let's see if I can actually write today, 170. And then what's this point going to be? This point, the x is still the same, isn't it? 170, comma, and now we are 30 down from the middle. 30 down from the middle, and the middle was at 200, so now we're at 230. All right, well, I don't know why I'm putting semicolons there. These are just XY coordinates. So if I wanted to write a triangle function to draw this triangle, I would write triangle, and then I would put my three endpoints in. x, y, x, y, x, y. So again, this coordinate, this coordinate, and this coordinate. All right, so that's how we do a triangle. Now, <clears throat> not so bad, right? So if that is one fish, what if I wanted more than one fish? What if I wanted more than one fish? What if I wanted the exact same fish, but now I wanted it to be drawn over here? How do I draw this fish? I want it to look identical to the first fish. So we know I'm going to have circle, right? I just need to know what my x and my y are, but we know our radius, or sorry, our diameter is 60. So let's see, it looks like I'm coming over near to the bottom, so I'm going to call it like uh, 300, and I'm going to call it, let's see, let's zoom out a little bit. So if that was 300, four, we'll call it 400, 300. So I want to draw my circle at 400 comma 300. Now I just got to figure out how to draw my triangle. So far so good. So if this point is the same, remember that this is the center of my circle. So in this case, this is the center of my circle, which again would be 400 comma 300. Oh, I don't want to close that parenthesis. So what are these two coordinates? So I got the easy one. Now I need the other two. Well, what did we say? We said to get from here, we said to get from here to here that that was 70. I wanted, I wanted to be 70, right? So if this is 400, what's 400 plus 70? Hmm. So 470, right? And then we knew to go from the middle up to go this distance, we went 30 up, right? So what's 300 minus 30? 270. There I go, close my parenthesis again. 
Now to get this point, what do we know? We know it's on the same x coordinate, don't we? And then again, the y is our center point plus 30. And that's how we could draw a second fish. So far, so good. Now, I want you to think about that for a little bit. I want you to write out the code now to do three different fish on your screen, okay? And I want them to all look identical. So your task right now is to, is to create code using a circle and a triangle to draw three identical fish on your screen. They don't have to be exactly this, but they need to be identical. And then when you're done with that, we'll come back and we'll do something else cool.